Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Today is Tarot. Hang on, rewind, start again. Yesterday was Tarot Day. <laughs> Weird was it? What happened to it? I'm going to tell you a little story, okay? So sit right back and you'll hear a tale. I tried four times yesterday to do my tarot and each time I got shut down whether it be the phone was ringing <laughs> or drum roll something happened in my house that resembled the sound of someone lifting up my fridge and throwing it against a wall it was a huge bang just outside this room in my house yesterday when I was doing my tarot so I ran outside to see what the hell it was and nothing was out of place so I got back on a little bit shaken because it was a really it was like a car came through the roof that sort of noise there was nothing there things happen every day in my house right but that was a big bang yesterday. So, didn't end up doing my tarot because <laughs> then my internet shut down. <laughs> I couldn't access my emails yesterday either because my emails are through a company that has their own server. And yeah, so Linda Ray was offline yesterday. I could not access my emails either. So, please apologies. Please accept my apologies, guys, for what happened, okay? This morning, I got up, I got dressed, did tarot. I actually did it on film, showing you how I pull my cards. And what do you know? It's been pulled by the forces that be, if you know who I'm talking about there. So that video, some of you saw it, some of you didn't. I hope you liked it because it's not around anymore. It's now a deleted video. I did not do that personally, okay? <laughs> so sit right back and you'll hear a tale. The message in my tarot this morning was be patient. Things are happening that are outside of our control whereby we just have to sit back and accept it now, okay? One card that I had <laughs> for the cards, because I'm not going to go there, guys, because it got pulled, okay? If you saw it, good. Because <laughs> some of you, it's actually showing 55 views right now. <laughs> anyway, so the one card that I do want to show you is again that was there this morning. Love would go for a walk in the sunshine. Let's talk about this today as the rehashed version of the tarot that wasn't really done yesterday tarot that was done today tarot but pulled down tarot which is now a condensed version of the tarot <laughs> I don't get good made you laugh so I'm only going to condense it to this one card it's my lovey dovey card and it says love would go for a walk in the sunshine let's talk about this one for a minute guys you know it's time to breathe and when, when we say to somebody, it's time to take a breath, what are we really saying? It's slow down, take stock, and stop concentrating on everything that's going on. You know, the reading this morning was virtually saying that really good things are coming for us, okay? There really is good things coming. I've got to be careful now with my words because I really don't want community strikes on my channel, right? Oh my gosh. So let's talk about love would go for a walk in the sunshine. What does that represent to us? First of all, what is love? Love is that ideal of perfection. Love is that ideal that everything's going to be okay. We're secure. We're safe. We're cared for. We're nurturing and we're growing together. Love represents that security that comes with trusting and acknowledging how much we appreciate, value and respect something, right? So let's all just take a stop today. Rehash who we are over the past two years because it's been a nightmare, you've got to admit, right? If anyone says the last two years has been fun, man what planet were they on oh yeah I'm sitting on Venus and I'm looking down at Earth and going yeah it looks like fun I really want to go there today <laughs> oh my god so guys um, 
This is our time to take stock. Appreciate everything we've got and everyone we've got. Okay? Take a walk outside doesn't mean take a physical walk. It means go to that place within us where we're happy. Love would like us to go for a walk in the sunshine. Think about the meta metaphor of what that represents. It's going back through our memories and saying, you know what, I really love that time when I was doing that. Or remember that time we went on that holiday to that place go back to those memories and really evaluate who you are and what you want to be in the future because this is a time where things are changing the next two years is not going to be fun let's go there it's not going to be fun um, my email is below in the description if you do want to know what's going on because I've got a prophecy that I've been talking about since 2001 when I died okay but it is interesting that me talking about certain things today <laughs> they didn't like it <laughs> Linda you naughty girl I need a spanking guys I really do I need a whip okay so anyway Love would go for a walk in the sunshine, guys. Let's all remember who we are, why we're important, what makes us shine. Because at the end of the day, it's what is within us is going to create what is outside of us in the future. We all think and create our own realities, okay? It's all about perspective. And what it is that we do want in our lives and how we can make that really occur for us okay so love would go for a walk in the sunshine it doesn't mean go outside and physically go for a walk even though and I've already just been for one and I may be going for another one <sighs> isn't it sad that we now live in a society where let's just go there people get upset we can't just express freely anymore and people are so judgmental it's really sad that we've come to this where others will get offended by our actions and then they start to blame us for how their life is going have you noticed how much this is happening now so how do we stay within ourselves, guys, and really allow ourselves to be that beacon for others so they want to be like us? Every single day I think to myself, what can I do today to make somebody else's life good or better or feel rewarded or just feel admired from afar every day I try to be a good representative of the good light and the energy that comes from the heavens I hope I try to do that you know I really hope I try my best to do that but at the end of the day they realize that we're all just fallible humans We've all got issues, we've all got mental health, we've all got blibbering DNA blubber, because that's what our bodies generally are, we're just blubber in a bodysuit. But at the end of the day, if we just sit there and we say to ourselves, you know what, I'm trying to do my best here, I'm really trying my damnedest in a harsh world to get through this thing. That's all we can expect of ourselves, isn't it? So don't go harsh on other people, guys. Don't be bitter and say why, or like accusing them, why are you doing that, why did you do that. Don't do that. Just allow others to be who they are because ultimately that's how we shine. You know, that's how we really do become our best version of ourselves. You know, I've looked at the stats for my videos and it is funny how many people do actually watch my 
<laughs> tarot reading because we're all looking for direction we're all looking for answers on how to be better people you know if you didn't want the best you wouldn't be asking a psychic or a tarot how is this going to end up because then we just would not be concerned with bad results right so we all do want the best in life. We all want the best for ourselves and others around us. We are generally a really good, loving race of people. However, it only takes one ripple in the mix, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm sure we all know at least one ripple in that mix. You know, I can name a few names right now and I'm thinking, well, they're causing some big waves in my life. But at the end of the day, I don't have to worry about what they're doing, because ultimately, at the end of the at the end of our lives, when we're standing before the three and doing our life review, we don't have to judge what other people did. We only have to judge how we reacted to it, and we only have to judge why were we so concerned in the first place with what other people do. We only judge ourselves for our own actions and what we're responsible for we don't care in heaven what the next person did we don't care about our partner our children our animals even the person in another country who did something so why is it so important for us now to do it so this is where i talk about how to be angelic how to be like heaven how do we get to that place in our own psyche where we sit here at the end of the day and say, I want to be like an angel, but how do I get there? So if you do want to like really seriously progress our soul, learn our lessons and to really be angelic and have that solistic alignment, which I talk about every single time I do a video. The only way that we get there is to recognize ourselves as sovereign. We are the creators of our own reality. The more we think about others, concentrate on that thought right there. And if it's like, oh, I'm so worried about that person and what they're doing, they really shouldn't be doing that. Ask yourself, why are you asking yourself why you're so concerned about that? Everybody has life lessons, guys. We don't know what those lessons are. They may sign up to come here to be some really bad person like Genghis Khan. You know who I'm talking about here? Someone from the 1940s. Um, you know, with a certain arm insignia. I'm just so worried now that not even, I can't even mention names now. Isn't this sad? Um, but we don't have to worry about what they do because at the end of the day they judge themselves and we judge ourselves so as long as we are doing what we think's right and we're getting through this thing called life with the love we hold within ourselves go for that walk in the sunshine like the card this morning said and really appreciate every little detail you know I walk around my block with my daughter we come out the front door we go left or we could go right we come around we go to the end of the street turn right then turn right we go up a hill come back around we come through a little walkway back into my street where my house is and it's about a kilometer of walk and every time I do that, I always admire that of me. Whichever tree I pass, flowers that are growing. I admire the guy who feeds the birds, the wild birds in his front yard. I sit there and I think, wow, hey, how much bird seed does he go through? I hope he can afford that. Because he's doing a great job looking after the wildlife. So I was actually thinking last night, I might just go and randomly buy some bird seed and just put it on his front door with a little note saying you're doing a great job what's five dollars doing something like that you know 
He'll open his door and he'll go, Whoa, what's this? Someone's given me bird seed. But it let, lets him know that he's doing a good job, even just looking after wild animals. So when we learn and appreciate all that's going on in our lives, you know, every little detail, and we just don't accuse and don't judge. We just allow our unsightly loud neighbours who have smells emitting from their house every day, if you know what I'm talking about. We let them just be who they are. We don't have to say, hey, you idiot, because they probably already know. And that's why they're acting like that, because they're so disappointed with their own life, right? So we don't have to tell them. Because, you know, we go back to when we were a child and imagine the teacher saying, what do you want to be when they when you grow up? Nobody ever says, I want to grow up to be on, um, on a street corner wearing the same clothes for six days without a shower, begging for food and money and having to see a psychiatrist every week because of my mental health. Nobody ever says that. We all want to be respected. We all want to be treasured, adored. We all want to be loved. Yes? So go back to that today, guys. Because this is now the message I'm getting. We've got to be patient with what's coming. Because it is coming. It is in our favour. Okay? So this tarot reading today, that's not really a tarot reading, and it certainly wasn't done yesterday or this morning, because they're all gone out into the ether of wherever but we don't have to judge what happened we don't have to accuse we really don't have to say you know what I have to get involved with that matter if you hear that someone's got an issue sit back and say do I really need to get involved with this because that's how we create drama okay and that's also how we create victims and I don't really want to be either of those you know I live in a very calm environment with my daughter we do not scream we do not yell we do not fight we talk with each other instead of at you know I give her so many options every day honey when would you like to have a shower you go to school in an hour so it's her decision when she wants to have a shower it's not me just saying hey you need to have a shower you're going to school soon Because that shows that I'm above her. I'm a superior. And I'm not her superior. I'm her mother. But look, what right does it give me to overpower and control her? I allow her that freedom to make her own decisions. So then she grows her own confidence. She's growing her own self-esteem. And most of all, she's growing her own self-worth and responsibility, accountability, and most of all the value within herself so she goes out and she holds her head high knowing that she is making her own choices about what she is in life we could all strive to be like this yeah and it's not that hard as soon as we realize we're not in a competition the world is not a race so just slow down guys and just pause take that walk in the sunshine even if you've just got to close your eyes and imagine that you've got the sun beating down on your face go to that happy spot this week because things are happening and we don't need to know so we don't need to control it because ultimately this war is already won so I hope that's a better reading than I did before that it's not there anymore. Have a good day, guys. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.